Hello, hello. Time to check another demo. Now I'm gonna check the demo of Solstice, a new action uh, game that's in the veins of uh, Devil May Cry from uh, what I have seen so far, but in a fantasy setting. And we play with a rather unique character that has a spirit uh, companion. First of all, let's see here the, the options of the game. Let's see. Okay, phone style. Ah, let's cover that one. Open dyslexic. Subtitles, background, no. Names. Follow blind, nice. Screen save, auto switch targets. Hmm, okay. Vibration. Auto combat. What? Um, button times QT, UI button hold, okay. Hmm. Else is here. Analytics. Enable or disable the sharing of gameplay information. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can send uh, some information to the developers. Black color red and black. Okay, let's stick with the red. Additional gore, yes. Tutorial, yes. Score info. If enable additional score information, will be displayed in the HUD. Oh, is this like the counter that we have on uh, David McRae? Ah, let's leave it no for now. Mm, let's see. Graphics. Oh, yeah, DLSS. says, hmm. Let's see. We already have plenty of FPS on the game. Now let's go balance here. Uh, FPS. Idealizing Sandus. Oh, now post pressing black. Black and red was the two colors for the blood deal. Pictures very high, very high. Yeah, let's go very high on everything and see how it looks. Yeah, I guess the settings were implemented now. Screen sake, auto target, controller. I'm gonna go for a controller. Can you actually? Oh, yeah, you can actually change the buttons. Uh, give me a second. Oh, for some reason, this controller is not connected to the dongle. Give me a second. Let me grab the other one. I have to recalibrate that one. Mm, let's see. No. Well, give me a second. We need, might need to calibrate the controllers for some reason here. Okay, now it's now it's connected. I like this the song that's playing on the background. Okay, so we can uh, change all the controls here. Audio. Mm, uh, let's see. Reduce this on 80. Dialogue 100%. Yeah, let's go like that. Oh, let's see. Text languages. Okay, plenty of uh, options. 
subtitles background. No, nothing we're okay. Okay, plenty of options and a lot of uh, options for accessibility. Not bad. And there is even an auto combat. So I guess if you want just to see the story or you have some issues playing the, the fast paced game like this, you can uh, place it on auto, probably. Overall, more options are never bad. Okay, well, now let's uh, check it out. Evocation, dots. I guess we're gonna see the controls while we play. I have to get used that we are attacking with the, the face buttons, not the triggers. And here's our protagonist. is the female guts. Oh no, I won't. Not again. Sister, stay with me. Do it again. Damn. Well, I guess she's losing herself into combat. She's arranging. Yep, she's guts all right. And in stack of pack we have this uh, spirit sister. sister oh, talk to me. Are you alright? Yeah, like Claymore, yeah. Oh, I have to prompt here. Yes, despite my weakness. That power was immense. It's not your fault. Then whose fault is it? You saw. I almost. Hmm, so these cinematics are on 30 fps capped, I can see it on my UI here. If I gave into the corruption inside me, you'd be lost. I won't allow it. You resisted. No other camera could have done that. Okay, so here we're getting a small exposition. So they are called Chimera, the warriors that are connected with the spirits. No other Chimera with a damned corrupted as a knight, you mean. Oh my god. I felt their strain, their suffering. They pushed themselves to their limits. It was like a scream in my head. But then all of a sudden, they were gone. Let's see if all the knights are female, then yeah, it's like a claymore. Okay. Both of them. Are you certain? I can't sense either of them now. And the other aura. It's gone too. Not for good, I'd wager. We might be the only ones left to fight it. Be on guard then. We may have to deal with it sooner or later. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like how... So this is a fixed camera game. And as you can see here, the first time I use the... Slightly press the stick. The character just changes to the direction you, you're facing. Oh, look at that. Idle animation. Oh, I love when they have uh, full idle animations. And then if I keep pressing it, we actually turn that uh, towards that. Oh. Oh, the screen sake, it's a bit too much. Mm, also... I think there is a... Hmm. How is it on stream? I think there is a slight audio delay. Hmm. Such a vast city. And now? Oh. Nothing but rubble. Okay, we have double jump. I like the art design though. Okay, we got the orbs. Yeah, this looks like a Devil May Cry game. Okay, so let's see. We have the slice attacks. 
we have this heavy attack so our weapon is uh, the one that changes uh, depending on our attacks see it, it becomes like a hammer what else can we do of course we have a jumping attack hmm okay this is the dust uh can we block Okay, with this button, I always make the spirit girl appear. Mm, let's see. Secondary loot action. Okay, so I guess we have some moves we can do with the spirit later, later on. Sub. Punishment field. Evocation field and dodge. Can I use the fields now? No, I can only use the dodge. Primary straight out of Legacy of Kane Defiance. Oh, okay. We shouldn't linger here. Yeah, why there is a delay? The FPS are pretty good though. Uh, the moment we are fluctuating between uh, 95 to 120 or so. Okay, that looks ominous over there. First, uh, when I saw the first trailer of this game, I thought it was a Souls-like game, but as you can see, it's more like a Devil May Cry. Yeah, yeah, there is a delay. I'm not sure why. It's not about the stream, I have the delay on my headphones too. Now, I'm not sure if this is an issue with the, with the demo or there is an issue with the game. Hmm... see if there is a weird behavior because of some options you never know let me see here let me go on full screen mode here see what happens and so there is some slight motion blur there <laughs> yeah it's about because we're faster than the sound uh, let's see Let's see here what we can change. We can lower the shadows a bit. This might make the game way smoother. I wish the killing could come to an end. Unfortunately, it's all I'm good for now. The voice seems familiar, but I cannot place it. The voice of the main lady. <laughs> doesn't make a lot of difference on the <clears throat> about the um, FPS though now that we reduce the shadows sorry guys this is the first time we checking this thing so I want to make sure that we have the best presentation possible mm. yeah along with the DLSS I guess we're getting pretty decent FPS no matter what um, let me see here I don't like the the screen sake. It's too much to be honest. Let's see how it looks without that. Okay. Yeah, way better. It's yeah, it's better to follow the action this way. It's easier to follow the the action. Voice actor Stephanie Justin. Oh yeah, yeah, I know her. Oh, nice. Oh, I think she's making both the voices of the of the warrior lady and the spirit. Okay, that was easy. Can we interact with the environment? No. Nope. Oh yeah, so there is a combo. Yeah, but there will be a really, really sad story in the game. Now, the characters are like they are cell shaded. As you can see there, there is a weird glow about them. I guess this is an artistic uh, choice. Can we go in there? No. 
Now, let's see if the combat works with the um, small arenas like on the Devil May Cry. Or you can move around the enemies. Yeah, yeah, this is the heavy attack. I'm not sure why we have this damn delay. I might have to fix it on the <laughs> for the YouTube later on. Really weird. Now, give me a second here. Let's see if it. Even though I can hear it myself, it's not a matter of a game capture here. But let me see some options. Hmm. Now let's see here. By the way, Diofield, thank you for the follow. I'm not sure if that uh, that guy has anything uh, to do with the game, but overall things. Oh, we cannot go back. Oh, no. Nah, delay is always there. Do you see anything different on the stream, or is it the same? Okay, let's see. Oh, first major enemy. Ethereal residue from the tear. It bears the taint of the corruption. Evocation field. Loot can interact with ethereal objects that do not belong in the physical world, such as the cobalt veins. If you press LT, loot will activate the evocation field, causing any ethereal objects in the vicinity to manifest. Entropy. Keeping the evocation field active wears loot out and causes your entropy to increase. However, loot entropy decreases if you hit an ethereal object while it is within the evocation field. Okay. If for any reason loot entropy reaches its maximum level, it will enter a state of overcharge. When this happens, loot vanishes and she is no longer able to use her powers. However, she will be back by Briar's side in a few seconds. Okay. The sound seems to be. We can shatter them if we work together. Let me focus my energy. The sound was okay when we were having the first cinematic there. Oh well. Mm, can we see a timer for the evocation field? Oh, I guess this is the orb that's. Yeah, the orb that's filled up that uh, that symbol, the symbol of the game. Anything here? Nah, we cannot end there. Yeah, I'm not a really a big fan of the games that have fixed cameras, but yeah, I guess it makes the game more cinematic. Now, let's see here. Oh. Okay. Proper fight. Can we actually move around? Not on my watch. Oh, okay. Like, can I move back? Oh, okay. It's like an arena. Okay. It's the same as uh, on Devil May Cry games. What was that build that we did there? Cover me, loot. Oh, she can. Oh, with B we can froze them, and there is even a emitter for a going for a combo. Uh, how can we lock on enemies? Can I make an enemy fly and jungle him? Oh, okay, we can. Wait a minute, does the spirit... Oh, she shoots automatically on the nearest enemy, okay. She is my knight, my sister. I'm 
just warming up. Give me a second here. How do we lock? Okay, yeah, we press it. So far, so good. I'm not done yet. Mm, can we counter attack or something? We can always dodge. Unity. Unity presents the connection between Briar and Loot. Oh, so those are the names of the two ladies. The higher their harmony, the greater their efficiency as they fight together. The indicator in the upper right corner of the screen shows the level of Briar and Loot's unity, so check it often during battle. As you fight, you can gain or lose unity. Offense and defense are both involved in the process. Successfully combining Briar's and Loot's abilities increase unity, while being hit or knocked back causes it decrease. Oh, okay. Raise unity to the highest level to strengthen Briar and Lute's bond. When this condition is met, the sisters can elicit devastating synergy attack. Try to execute the alternative combo of your Ascent Vindicator, the Ferocious Assault, to end it with a synergy attack. Okay. You can unlock additional synergy attacks from Lute's powers menu. Oh yeah, now I can see the menu with the synergy there. Oh, I can see how much, what damage we did, what was the most damaging ability. Let's go! Yeah, this, this feels somewhat like Devil May Cry to be honest. Get them all. More. Yeah, I guess we're close to. Get yeah, this guy. Is my synergy up? Oh. Okay, then. Oh. Yeah, I guess the fight is over. Okay. First fight, gold. Not bad. Uh, modifier, backstab. Oh, so there is backstab damage, flying away, and done there. Hmm, well, not bad. Oh, uh, yeah, so it works like the the combat zones on the God of, the old God of War games, all the Demon League Cry series. You can move on a specific location uh, only in like an arena, and you can you have to fight the enemies before you can progress. I wonder how far can we reach? Now, at least the, the arenas are way bigger than those previous games I was mentioning. But yeah, you cannot move very freely on the map. And I guess those orbs are... Oh, tearing penance. Press to select the tearing penance on your secondary weapon. Then, oh, what the hell was that? Oh, look at that. Here we have the menu. Yeah, overall, I like the art style of the game. Oh, look at that. We can uh, change our abilities here. Hmm. What is this thing? What the hell? Hit all enemies in a straight line, knock them in the air. Oh. Okay. Oh, so this is the combination of the two. Hmm. Okay. And here we have loot. Oh, here we have all the hints. Let's see what can we unlock on the spirit. Fills loot's pro progression. Loot's powers are divided into four branches. Each are one focusing on a specific approach to battle. 
Defense, offense, and something else that is locked at the moment. What the hell? How many abilities can we unlock? Lesser reveal when loot is about to overcharge, you resist, and unity is lost instead. Okay. In order to fight the refs and possess, loot must activate either the evocation field or the banishment field. Fields are also necessary to interact with the, the environment. Unflinching resolve, defeating enemy affected by field decrease entropy. The range of both fields increase. Okay. And plenty more abilities to unlock later on. Defense. Uh, oh my god, look at that. Mm, uh, let's start with this one. The loot reacts to the incoming attack even if the counter was failed. The bonus defensive action can only be occurred every few seconds. So passive block, I guess. Protection. Loot defends prior against incoming attacks. When a counter appears in the rise, loot can uh, react accordingly to the type of enemy. Loot disrupts enemy as they are attacking, thwarting their efforts. And becomes able to disrupt attacks from medium and high class enemies too. Oh, okay, so this is... Hmm. Slow, freezes time around the enemy, giving Briar the opportunity to evade their attacks. Cool. Loot raises a shield to parry in close range attack. And loot deflects a projectile before it reaches Briar. Hmm. Okay, and what's the offense here? Oh yeah, so here we can unlock the synergy attacks uh, we were reading about. Uh, loot channel synergy to unlock special attack in unison with Briar. I guess this is the only one we have at the moment. And we can uh, improve it. When a unit is attained, loot conjures two additional blasts that deal low damage. Huh. Okay. Uh, what is this third thing? Can we use it? Not yet. To think that it all happened in a matter of mere hours. It's terrible. Okay, so far so good. The game runs well and the uh, it is rather interesting. Now the only problem is the issue with the sound. Not sure why that's happening. I want to see if the sound is okay on the next uh, cinematic we're gonna face. Now the cinematic was on 30 FPS cap. I wonder if it has something to do with the FPS at the moment. Like some weird... Um, like some games have the whole physics engine bind uh, to the frames of the game. So if it's something bugged with the sound. Anyway. All this death, gods, peasants, it didn't matter who they were. It mattered. The gods sealed the gates, trapping the people inside. They tried to contain the corrupted and failed. As we go down there, let's see, uh, are there any more orbs here? Okay, couple veins while the evocation will is active, you can hit. Okay, yeah, yeah, we know that. Oh, oh look at that. Eh. Let's close the field a bit. Okay. Mm, is there a way down? Yeah, we cannot go down. 
I fantasized about visiting Ilden as a child. One should always be wary of what they wish for. Okay. More orbs when you do a level up. Is he friendly? Oh, I guess this is the friendly <laughs> play their skills farewell. Okay. Hmm, so I grab this one. 7k. And okay, we need a lot of more points for that one. Uh, cut through the enemies in front of you. We see so quick. I guess that we already have. Oh, and what's the lance? Close in. Okay, move forward twice and then press that. And what about the heavy attack? A on tough opponent or small groups with a sequence of parallel swings. Prerequisite to unlock the ascendant forces synergy attack. While Lenborn slam the enemies with the reins. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's get this one. I need the, uh, Oh that's 7k too. Ah fuck. Okay, let's get the... I think I'm gonna keep the points. I want to get the synergy attack. First we'll just get the lance. Fuck it. Let's get it. We might get more points when we... find the boss. Hmm. Well, let's see. Defense. Actually unlock something on defense. Uh, we cannot unlock anything at the moment. Dude can deflect range attacks from medium or high class enemies. Oh, we already have this thing. Okay, that's unlocked. Um, uh, pirate attacks. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the party from the big enemies later on. Judge's wisdom, dear sisters. Okay, later, dude. So can you only look at the moves when we're next to this guy? Or can I do it by myself? Let's see. Uh, yeah, we don't have the points now. Uh, oh. Okay, I guess this is the lance attack. Well, that's really fast animation there. Hmm. Oh, I cannot move that way. We. Come on, there are some orbs up there. Grab it. I think I can jump there. Give me a second. The suffering of the death still lingers here. Will I ever be able to silence them in my mind? Okay, free experience. Almost got an ability ready now for loot. Yeah, we cannot go there. There are any <laughs> invisible walls. Yo, boys. I bet there will be a boss fight there around here. One 
one down. Let's keep it up. Get them. I'm just warming up. Who's next? Okay. The animation of that lance attack is a bit weird. Oh. Here we go. Boss fight. Oh no. This is just the big enemy. Cover me, loot. Well, let's get the archers first. One down. Let's keep it up. Okay. Okay, we got his armor down. Fuck you, dude. Okay, that was easy. Oh, another archer. Come here, you sneaky fella. Okay, we managed to stop him. The attack of loot. Come on, give me you want more. I've got more. Oh, are we ready to do a synergy attack? Uh, how can we do the synergy attacks there? Give me a second. Mm, oh, weapon up left to right. So I guess we can change weapons later on. Um, give me a second. I want to see if I can do the unity attack now. Synergy attacks. Um, when the condition is met, the sisters can unleash. Protects you in the alternative combo of your Ascent Vindicator. The Ferocious Assault. No, what was. Oh no! No! We got a hit! Motherfucker! I think there is a, a way to block the attacks there. Oh well. Ah, yeah. Oh, platinum! Really? I, I, I did better than the previous time, even though I took so much damage. Oh well. I guess the score is a bit forgiving. Yo boys. Allow me to put you out of your misery. Any blue crystals around? Find all the traces. Okay. Do we use this the field? Oh yeah, there is a vibration on the controller now. Wow. 
Oh, uh, we're getting close. Ah. Uh. Oh, now it's, we can see the echo. Oh, that's the same symbol uh, we have on our interface on that. Uh, on that card. Never seen the knights acting like this before. Hmm. Me neither. Whatever's in there must be really valuable. You try to steal it then. I'm staying here. Whatever it is, it feels like the judge's breath on my neck. Shut up, they'll hear you. Soldiers, the next one of you who speaks will be flogged. The one after that will be hung. The one after that, courted. Have I made myself clear? Good. Okay, dude. Soldiers of the Order, they were afraid. Yes, but not of the Knights, regardless of their threats. Easy now, easy. Not my choice to come this way, is it? I like it no more than you do. Settle down. Even hmm. the animals were restless. What the hell was inside there? This echo is so vivid. The dead are screaming all around us. But this cuts through it all. It left a deep scar on the ether. That scares me the most. Okay. I don't see any other interactive points. Oh no, there is one more. Halt! In the name of the Triarchy and the Shining City of Elden! The Ashen Blade. Huh. What is your business here? We carry a gift. From the Grand Master of the Order to the High Clergy of Elden. Hmm, I wonder what the gift was. Is that all? We are expected at the Cathedral of Guiding Light. We had no advance notice of your arrival. You can't just show up and... Our papers speak for themselves. Here. Now let us in, if you care for your useless job. And your worthless life. Just let them in. It's not worth dying for. F -f Fine. Uh, good, good, sir. Uh, of course. Oh, that was a mistake. You may pass. May the torch bearer light your way. Well, this is the city of light, is it not? Now I understand the aura I feel, the one that left this echo. It came from inside that armored carriage. Can you tell me what was inside? I can't see inside. The carriage is lined with something. Oh my god. It's like Superman, he, he cannot see through, through that. It's done by perception, so this was done on purpose. By someone who knows the Order, who knows its secrets. You mean... us? The Chimeras? I think so. That carriage is at the heart of whatever happened here. Then we have to find it. And soon, whatever it's doing here might not be finished. Okay. Echo is done. Well, let's go inside the city. Come on, I want to do the charge attack. Oh, look at that. Mother Loops. Mother Loops are huge formation that can reward you with, with an incredible amount of residue. Have a loot activate the proper field, then destroy them as fast as possible to earn the biggest reward. Also, there is a time limit. And go. Oh, nice. Actually, get an ability for loot now.
Yeah, I guess we can only do that on those vendors. And anything else? Yep. Let's go this way. Some rest fight at last. Is there so let go down there? Aha. Look at that, there are secrets. I don't see any other crystals around. Okay, stage one clear, I guess. Let's see how this story continues. Okay, everything is glowing here. I guess we can destroy everything. Oh! Hello, boys! Motherfucker! There's more. By the way, do we heal up after its fight or? No, I don't think so. Look at that. Hmm, how do we heal up? Destroy everything. Uh, we cannot destroy things by dodging towards them. Destroy that thing. No, guess not. What the hell is this? This shouldn't be here, so far from the tent. Corruption spreads across Ilden, causing the formation of crystalline infestations, which cannot be destroyed by normal means. If you press the right trigger loot will activate the banishment field, causing any crystalline objects in her vicinity to become vulnerable to briar attacks. Okay. And drop in overcharge. Okay, the same thing as the other field. Crystal overgrowth and are grimson crystalline structures that usually prevent access to a new area. You will be able to destroy them only if they are affected by loot banishment field. Okay. We need to before get busted. Yeah, yeah, before we go. We just need to combine sword and oh. spirit. Look at that. Sister, let me help. We can do this. I actually go there. And before we destroy the formation, let's look around. We go in that room. I don't see any other door, but I guess we're gonna go there later. Hmm. Oh well. Let's keep going. City. A place like this is a feast for wraiths. 
Oh, mother lobe. Let's get it. Okay, so I guess there is some exploration elements in the game. Uh, so let's just go down. Oh, oh. Our experience. Uh, nothing this way. Who the hell is that, the guy? New enemy type. Rats are foes that took shape from cows itself. As with ethereal objects, the only way to face them is keep them within loot's evocation field. Oh, okay. I get it. Now that's why we need the fields. Oh, when we finish the field, when we kill one, the field resets. Hundreds must have come through the tear. And I doubt that they were all breathing like these ones. Other, more powerful race must be running the city as well. Anyone else? Down you go, dude. Diamond. Oh, there's even better one. Zero damage. Fuck yeah. I guess that's the best score. Okay, so far the combat is easy, but it seems that uh, with so many moves to unlock, so many abilities, I bet there will be some moments that will be really, really tough and uh, challenging. I don't think... Did we choose difficulty in the beginning? Sure. Okay, we can go there. Oh no, we need the red field. Let's go this way. Hmm. Sister, well, we born of the same evil that it did. You think too much. Those guys that come up uh, for us to level up look like the the wraiths we just kill. Okay, I guess we cannot hit him. I was scared that I'm gonna hit him when I was hitting that crystal. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Okay, plenty of crystal gather. Anything else? No. Dear sisters. Mm, okay, let's see. And uh, let's see offense. Special attack, ultimate vindicator. After an ascent vindicator synergy attack, loot conjures a volume of blasts. Huh. Blast hits grants additional unity. When you need attain, loot blast hits enemy twice. See, I wanted to grab this thing, the counter attack on the high enemies. Higher level enemies and uh, disrupt attacks. Let's get this one. This one and go on the offense.
so we can gather unity faster. Now, what about the fields? Do I have anything useful here? The range of both fields increase. Defeating enemy affects by the field increase entropy. Okay, let's get those two small upgrades. Now, let's see what about our tough lady here. Hmm. Oh, come on. Yeah, we still need a few points to grab this one. Very well, dude. You know how to find me? How do you find you? Shall I return here? I guess if we had better score on all the miss on the fights, we will have the points needed to grab the new attack. Oh. Oh, we can return. It doesn't matter how many dead I see. I can't get used to it. I close myself off to their suffering. But someone should listen. Okay. But at least we can return to the vendor. Oh, so at some point you get those green orbs. That's the only way to heal up. Okay. Uh, how many points we have now? Uh. Mm. Oh, now we cannot return? Oh, no, we can. Anything hidden? Yep. Well, let's go down. Oh, this looks like a pretty cool place to have a boss fight. Or we're just gonna have some uh, normal enemies. Oh, cinematic. training okay i guess we need the red field for this one let's go fight me i'm here you bitch Oh no! I did a mistake there. Oh, what the god! Oh, okay. Managed to counter all of them. Come here, you bitch! for the big guy. Nah, the big guy is not staying here. I will deal with it. Huh? We have oh, to really? We have even one of those spirits here? Come on. Go for the smaller enemies. 
Oh, there is friendly fire, I guess, for the enemies. Come here, you bitch. Get him on the back. I think we do more damage when we hit him on the back. Okay, that's cool. What the hell? Uh... Oh no! Oh no! no. Okay, nice. Now what? Is he gonna come down? Let's go! Get him! Okay, another wave of summons. What now? What the hell is happening? What the hell should I do now? Oh. Oh, get out. Okay. So I guess I had to evolve all the arrows. Go for the big guy. Here you fucker. Uh, Come on. Uh. I hit you. Stop jumping around. Oh, you motherfucker. Get him! No. Oh, another wave! Come on, dude! Just die! I was asking the same thing, lady. Ah, uh, what? Is he gonna summon the? Oh yeah, he makes his clones. It's doing it again. We no. Fuck you, your clone, no juju. Uh, 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 no, no, no. I try, lady, I try. Motherfucker. Oh, we took a lot of damage now. Uh. Okay, nice. Uh, there is another one. Okay, nice. Let's go grab him. No, oh, the red pill. Ah, uh, damn, I pressed the wrong pill there. Die. Come oh, on, you motherfucker. I like how we can counter attack the, the shots of this guy with the, our spirit. Fuck you! Ah, gold, yeah. Better than nothing, I guess. Soul defense, fly away, elusive. 
yeah, we will have done better. Execution. Will it transform to a human now? We're gonna go berserker mode. Up, Gat. Oh, the berserking starting. Oh, we actually managed to avoid one fight. See, we were missing one. One score there. Hmm. I guess there was a secret room. Yeah, the room that we didn't manage to find access to. The one that uh, was behind the bars. That had some uh, red orbs. Okay. So I guess this is a level based one. And that was a demo. Damn. Now that was. Uh, that the story was going to be more interesting. Solstice. Thank you for playing. Wishlist now. Yeah, but that was the demo of uh, Solstice, uh, a new Devil May Cry-esque uh, game on the fantasy setting. Or, to be more precise, this is like the old uh, God of War games. Yeah, pretty cool. I like the art style of the game. I like the two protagonists. It seems to be interesting and might have a cool and uh, sad story. The berserker lady here that has uh, that tried to contain the contamination and the the dead spirit of the little girl there. Yep. Overall interesting game, decent combat mechanics, nice music, and if you don't have any issues with the fixed camera, etc. Yeah, this is a pretty decent uh, action game to check out. It uh, currently we checked the demo on the Steam and it played really well on PC. I didn't have any issues. Except the issue with the sound, I'm not sure if it's something that had to do with my my end or there was something wrong with the demo. Keep that in mind. But overall, a really, a really, a really decent game. Yeah, I was. Uh, I wanted to check this out from the first trailer we saw, and uh, yeah, overall it seems to be well made, and it's coming up uh, r rather soon. I think it's yeah, it's releasing on the. Uh, on the 20th of uh, September, so that's uh, 15 days uh, from now. Keep that in mind if you to check it out. And if you are a fan of those uh, action uh, adventures games like uh, God of War and uh, Devil May Cry, this is a really decent game. It's uh, out on uh, all the major consoles. On Xbox, PlayStation, it's not out on Nintendo Switch. 